Guys who are currently watching a clip from our podcast, The Fellas, the full podcast is available exclusively on Spotify with video for free. So go ahead and follow us on Spotify. It actually helps us out more than you could imagine. Not but, with Mr. Hogg. Yeah, hopefully Is he not. looking dangerous? You've seen a couple of training videos. Where I've seen like a couple. No, no training videos, but I've seen the training pics. Seen him doing this. <laughs> Looks like a tactician on the training I'm pics, does he? sold. The formation's looking I see we're going to be different this season, I promise you. Where do you think you'll finish, seriously? I think we'll finish fourth or fifth. <clears throat> Genuinely. Fourth or fifth. I think we'll make if we get all five signings that he wants, fourth or fifth. Wait, who who wait, who we're about five? to we're about to sign so we've got Ericsson, this yeah. left back. We're about to sign this uh, I think centre back. Can play DM as well though, called Martinez from Ajax. Yeah, saw that. Uh so I'll be happy with that. That's one of his top then top De Jong, signings. Then De Jong. The and then the fifth, I don't know, but I reckon it's probably gonna be a striker. It was meant to be this Anthony kid, right? But I yeah, just want too that. much money for him. And if we get Martinez, I can't imagine they'll let go of him. Do you think uh, Ronaldo will actually leave? Because <clears throat> that's what it's the chat right up, now. I'm up in the air about it. I think who's going who's gonna to take him? He's 37 years old. He costs 500k a week. Does <laughs> Tuchel want him at the club? <laughs> if we sign Ronaldo, mate, Bro, that's that would be the most tragic bit of business. I don't think that would be You've good for you guys. You may as well like just say we're not a serious yeah, club. It's not like see when United signed Ronaldo, it was a big thing and it was a big commercial thing as well. And it was actually fucking belting every United fan in the world. Even it was just massive, right? Chelsea signed him a year later. Would be weird. it's an L. It's an L for would both an L. United yeah. and Chelsea. It's, IMO. No one wins. Nobody no one wins. wins. Ronaldo wins. Well, yeah, of course. Well, actually, no, because you, surely United fans would then be a bit like, I want him to say, you've just gone to a big like, rival, one, one, like a, literally yeah, a top four be rival. An L, be an L. I get that he wants to play in the Champions League because it's his twilight years, like it's the end of his career. So yeah. I get that. And sometimes you got to think about what's good for you because you're going to die. No one's going to give a shit anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so just do what well, you I think they will about Ronaldo, to be fair. Yeah, for about what, 50 to 60 years after 100 years, and then that's yeah, it. But, well, then, then, then the earth burns. Not, yeah. And then you'll and be on to Then everyone will only be caring about Mbappe's records. I've got a question for you. I got a question for you. The world goes round, man. Do you actually? Yeah. Do you actually care about the legacy that you leave? Not seriously. Not too much. Cause I know people forget. Yeah. I think. I honestly, I really do believe this. That like, no one really cares. I know that's no deep. Well. I know that's a bit deep. Yeah. But seriously, unless you are, unless you like invent something that yeah. truly changes the, the world, world. Yeah then you winning a sports competition or you do, I think is meaningless. Yeah. It's in terms really of, in terms of, uh, in terms I of guess, legacy. I, at the time of your life, that is meaningful and you are living your life to the full. Amazing, right? But people that say, I need to leave a legacy. I, for 99.99999% of people, you're not, there's no legacy. You don't leave it. Like 10 years after you die, people have forgotten yeah. you. People don't S really Say care. though, Cal, the Fella Studios turns into the biggest podcast company ever. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. We which, which it will. You have been part of history and pioneered yeah. something amazing. And, and I, I know you probably could say you don't care, but that must be pretty sick for your kids to look at and go, my dad did this. Good for the kids. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Not good yeah, for everyone but, else. But, but like, yeah, that's what I mean. Like the legacy is, is put no, you, like if you went and you did a lot of things, your, your kids could look up to you and go like, oh, that's great. But people, where, then people would just be like, oh, the fella, the fella studios became this massive company, but they won't necessarily know that that's, Calvary's and and you would and you know who the fuck cares that do you know what I mean so unless yeah. you're creating like like a life changing right the fella studios it can be the biggest podcast thing in the world the biggest media company in the world unless it truly is life changing yeah no one really cares yeah you won't be a right? saint like look at Murdoch <laughs> yeah owns Sky all this stuff when he passes away Sky and stuff is still going to continue or whatever but no one's going to look back and go look at all the great things Murdoch mm. did like it's not going to be you're not going to grow up and and you're not going to know about him. So unless you change the way people live, <laughs> like a Steve Jobs, yeah, right? Yeah. And even then, who knows, in 30 years, there might be the new Steve Jobs people talk about and now Steve Jobs isn't even spoken about. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So th that's what I mean. It's and sad, like, but it's back to us. Yeah. And I, yeah, I don't know. Because I, I think I spoke about with this JJ a while back and I asked him like, why do you do so many different things? And when he comes on the pod, I actually want to ask him this question again because I asked him this like six or seven years ago, right? And I said to him, like, why do you want to keep boxing? Why do you want to keep doing... Yeah, I think it was the boxing I asked him. And he said, like, I want to leave... Like, I, I want to have a legacy so that when I retire, um, I am known as this person, right? 
It's really and, strange, and, though, because like the legacy, a legacy is really caring about like just what, what other, other people, people think. Yeah. Like it doesn't really fucking matter, man, because you're just here on your own doing your own thing. Yeah, but that's what I mean. So he said that, and he was like, "I want to be," back. and I was there. Like at the time, I'm like, "Fair enough." Like if that's what you think, but then I just thought, like, okay, but then you die, and then and then it's done. It's done. Like. You don't get to like enjoy the legacy that you created or you left behind. Like you're dead. Yeah. And so people I mean? are so focused on leaving one behind for other people to remember them. Yeah. Back. What about just enjoying your time here? Yeah. And and doing that in so could just result in you creating a legacy anyway. Without yeah. you having to focus so much on being on like, yeah. I need to leave a legacy behind. Yeah. I need to do this, that. I need to, I, I, when JJ does come on, one. when JJ does it's come on, because one, uh, I spoke to him and he said he wants to come on before his fight, actually. So um, that's a good point. I need to get that in the, in the diary. Um, but yeah, I, I need to, oh, remind me, note that down, Prodigy. When he comes on, I want to ask him about legacies. So yeah, speaking of legacy, I just bought a new car. Nice. Toyota Legacy. Toyota Legacy. I don't even know if that's nice. Toyota Legacy Plus. Whoa. Yeah. Go on, Toyota, yeah. Toyota Legacy Death. Are you name dropping the car? Yeah, because, uh, well, this will be a fella's exclusive because my video of me, because I was going to do like a, I bought a new car video on my second channel. Cal's clips. Ah! <laughs> oh my God, he's got the power. Oh, that was cold, boys. That was very good. I don't know if the cameras are going to catch that, yeah. but it deserves oh, to be caught. I basically just force pulled this fucking can over here, man. This you didn't even force pull the nearest one. You took that one. Wow. Bro could power. choose. My powers go beyond a natural man. Um, but yeah, I bought a... Um, okay, now this is quite bad. And you guys can actually tell me how to pronounce it because I feel like I should know how... Oh, wait, Proddy, can you get this up just on YouTube right mm -hmm. now? Type in how to pronounce... Porsche Taycan. Taycan. Is this your new car? Yeah. The Taycan. Is this is this electric? Yes. Oh, he's got a little video playing on it. I don't want it to be an American right. accent because they'll you're, fucking ruin it. You're like, what was oh, that? Wait, no, that was an American accent. Get rid of that right now. What was that? No, but Taycan. That's how he said it. Wait. That is how you say it. It's no. Thai as in Thai. Thai. Yeah. Taycan. 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 No, it's not Taycan. Because the American Taycan. went Taycan. But that's because they're American. It says here, Thai, con. Well, what, C-O-N? Yes. Tycon. Tycon? Tycon. Porsche Tycon. That's what it is, isn't it? Porsche Tycon. That's, no, it's not. That, a Tycan. It, it, I think it's Tycan as well. I think it's Tycan. I've got a Porsche Tycan. Porsche? <laughs> Porsche Tycan. Anyways, I've got one of those fucking things. And it is... Oh, mate, it's just so sick. So sexy, it's so sick. It's, it's so the sleek. 4S to anyone that's... I didn't get the full, like, you. Could, there's, like, the fully specced out Turbo S thing. First of all, it's another 50 grand. Yeah. Jeez. And I was there, like, I don't need that. Bro, I didn't even get the top package, you know? <laughs> Bro, I'm not getting that whip. One, because it, I think it does, like, 0 to 60 in, like, 2 point something. And I'm there, like, I live in London. I will never get the opportunity mm. to go 0 well, to 60. Well, yeah, of course you won't, because you didn't buy it. <laughs> 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 oh. Where's your tie cam? <laughs> I think my course what is top. What color is your tie cam? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I ain't got one. I'm broke. I'm. Go I was thinking of getting a um a Citroen. Mm. No, I tell you, the best car to get in London is a smart car. I drove one of those. JME gave me a smart car to have a little whip around in once, and it was the most fun I've ever had. Mm. It is. It's a joke, bro. You could park it. Yeah. The other way, like sideways. And I was like, this is just sick. What? Yeah. No, you can't. Yes, you, you can't. can't I swear to God, you can. That way. You can park it and you can like turn into it and like go that way. So you can fit in any parking spot. That's fucking lit. Yeah. Lit, it's baby. so small. Yeah. And, and, but I, I remember back in the day, I went to get insured on it. They were trying to, trying to make me pay more in insurance than the car was worth. It's because you're um, more at risk in a smart car. It's I don't care. The car was no, worth like it, six grand and they tried to of, ask eight grand for it. Part insurance. of it's the damages wow. on you though. It's not about insuring the car That's as well. If you crash in a smart car, you're done, aren't you? Your mm. bones will turn to jelly. <laughs> yeah. You'll be mm. sent to Mars. What, what was that? You're going to slurp up the bones? Yeah. <sighs> How many people have turned off? 